This 58-year-old female presented with worsening headaches, new seizure-like activity, and worsening alter mental status for one week. These images demonstrate a rounded region of cytotoxic edema within the superior right parietal lobe with scattered subcentimeter regions of cytotoxic edema involving the deep white matter of the corona radiata on both the right and left. There is fluoride T2 flare hyperintense signal involving the subcortical and deep white matter of the right parietal lobe with lesser involvement of the left parietal lobe and corona radiata. In addition, there are a few focal punctate and more linear regions of signal loss involving the cortical sauci greater on the right. The susceptibility weighted images confirm the presence of hemorrhage within the sauci of the biparietal regions. The perfusion maps demonstrate delayed transit within the right frontal parietal region with a more focal region of reduced blood volume in the right parietal lobe. These findings are compatible with acute hemorrhagic infarction in the setting of dural sinus thrombosis. Patients with venous infarction demonstrate a variable clinical presentation depending on the cause, location, extent, rate of progression or regression, and collateral pathways to venous drainage. Venous congestion is thought to account for the fluoride T2 flare signal abnormality and abnormal findings of delayed transit on the perfusion maps. In this case, there was a more focal region of acute infarction with corresponding reduced blood volume. Common causes of venous sinus thrombosis include dehydration, chemotherapy, hypercoagulable states, iatrogenic causes, infection, malignancy, malnutrition, pregnancy, and trauma.